Hello Sagittarius, welcome to your reading and as always I hope you all are doing well and uh, Sagittarius if you are new here, my name is Joe and I'll be doing a reading for all Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus placements, okay? As usual, please do keep in mind that my readings are timeless and they are general, so just take whatever resonates and leave the rest behind. The best time for you to watch or listen to my readings is when you come across them or if a title catches your attention. That's why they're timeless and that's usually how it works. Do feel free to browse my channel. You might want to check uh, some of the previous readings that I've done for your sign. But uh, Sag, more than anything, do check what other signs you have in other placements. Mostly Moon, Rising and Venus. And then you might want to check out some of the readings that I've done specifically for those signs. Mostly if you're having a hard time finding a reading that resonates with you at this current moment of your life. Sometimes that happens and it usually means that your messages are just simply coming stronger from those placements. It all depends on your current life path or journey. And last but not least, please do subscribe, hit the like button, leave me a comment. I would truly appreciate it very much. It's always the best way to support the channel. And thank you to all of you who have already liked, commented, subscribed and for your kind donations. I truly appreciate all of your support. Thank you very, very much. All right, Sedge. Okay, let's see what we have for you. Okay. Sagittarius, you have the Nine of Swords as the starting energy of your reading or the current energy or the heart of the matter. Nine of Swords talks about stress, um, having a hard time maybe sleeping, maybe overthinking things, maybe overwhelmed about something, something's getting the best of you here, and um, there might be a lot of stress and anxiety here. Okay, let's keep going, we'll figure out what's going on here. The energy that's crossing, it could be a challenge or a blockage, it's a chariot, Cancerian energy. You're having a hard time, I guess, moving, moving on, maybe leaving something behind, uh, having the confidence to move forward or toward something where you're meant to move to, or you feel like you want to move to, okay? Might be some lack of confidence for some of you, okay? But you're having a hard time doing this, you're having a hard time trusting just having the confidence to, to to take this next step or just start charging forward. The energy that is crowning your conscious mind, and you are aware of this, you're constantly thinking about it. You're always thinking about this. It could be the desire for some of you, Knight of Wands. This is your energy because this is fire energy. Uh, Knight of Wands is usually also seen as, as Sagittarius energy, but more than anything, well, this is fire energy, and you're a fire sign. But I think there's something about, I don't know. The Knight of Wands can be a very uh, unstable energy sometimes. It can be very erratic, inconsistent. Undecisive, uh, not knowing really or exactly what it wants. This could be for some of you the case. Maybe you're having a hard time taking this decision to move forward, but you just don't know what it is that you want, or if it's something you really want. It's there's a lot of uh, in and out energy, back and forth energy. But I also get some type of energy about experimenting and some type of playfulness here. Let's see, well, I think it's more than anything this um, erratic behavior or inconsistent inconsistency in your mind, not, not being sure about what it is that you want to do now. Hmm, interesting. Below you, your subconscious mind, you are not aware of this, and you should, Divine wants you to focus more on this, okay? Or your spirits, guides, angels, okay? Or your higher self. It's the Page of Wands. You know, it's kind of strange because it's the same energy, it's fire, of 
got the page and the nine of wands and having this below in your subconscious mind i think they're telling you somehow that maybe there's some type of approach or some type of way of thinking that has to change here this erratic this indecisiveness i think it's time for you to the problem here is this night is very inconsistent because i think the horse is out of control there's something within you that you you're gonna have to tame or you're just gonna you know it's like this knight has to step out of this horse get off this horse take the armor off and just start walking a new journey a new path and not to be afraid about starting from zero, from scratch again. This means that there is a sacrifice for some of you that has to be, it's something that's holding you back. It's something that's keeping you in this erratic behavior. Maybe you have to let go of this horse and armor, whatever it is, whatever it means for you, okay? It's not letting you move the way you're meant to. You're meant to start walking more freely with more freedom and even if it's a slow path you see the thing is this is like you know what divine is trying to tell you here you're meant to move forward but you can't it's like you want to do it with this car that it's not, maybe the road you're meant to move on is not built for cars. And you want to get to this destination on a car. And the vine is telling you, no, Sagittarius, you have to leave the car behind. The only way to get there is by walk, by, 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 by foot, walking. And you're saying to yourself, you know, well, yeah, but uh, if I go in my car, I'll get there faster. And it's like you're not getting the point here. Divine is trying to tell you, I understand what you're saying, but you have to understand that the road is not made for a car. So no, you're not gonna get there faster. It's just gonna, it's just gonna, it's not gonna work out. You're meant to leave it behind and get there by foot. So there is something that you have to sacrifice here. It's something that I believe makes you think that you have to take with you it can even be a way of doing things it has to change you know you're meant to move on there's a lot of stress about this there's a lot of anxiety about this about the situation about whether you can go and take wherever you want to go you can take this with you or you can keep doing things the same way you've been doing them all the time and uh you're meant to have a new beginning a new path but you have to start from scratch and not, don't be afraid and don't feel don't feel bad about that I think you're meant to, this is part of your path. You're meant to leave something behind now so you can have this new beginning because you are meant to start moving on. And I know you can feel this energy, but you can't. It's something that's holding you back and it's starting to cause you some stress. You're meant for a new beginning. You're meant for a new change. This is the energy behind your recent past, where you're coming from, what you're leaving or should be leaving behind, or the reason why you're going through this four of pentacles. You're meant to let go of something. You're meant to leave this energy behind. You don't want to let go of something. You see, you are very attached to this. It could be some type of controlling mechanism. I don't know. Take it as the best resonates for you. But you're meant to let things flow, and you're meant to go with the flow of things. You're meant to let things some type of changes happen you're not allowing them to happen it's draining you it's 
we look at the, the robe, the shawl, uh, the clothing, it's torn, it's torn, it's, it's you holding on to this, it's not helping you at all, it's draining you, it's exhausting you, you can't continue like this, you have to let go of it and have this new beginning. This is in front of you, where you're headed to, where you're coming, where you're where you're headed to, what's coming towards you, or where you're meant to go, near future, for some of you, Queen of Swords. Very divine, feminine, air energy. I think you're going to have to really sit with yourself, and really try to figure out what is the best approach to let something go, how to cut something out of your life, how to deal with it. Okay, because Queens think are more analytical than kings. Kings can be more blunt. I think they're, you're going to have to sit down with yourself for a while here and really try to make sense and figure things out. How you're going to deal, how you're going to cut something out of your life. This is giving some type of clarity and being true and loyal to yourself. Okay, Sagittarius. It's the sword of truth. You're still having a hard time using it, but you'll get the you'll get the hang of it. You just have to you have to do something about this. You're stressing, and that stress, I think, is an inner calling from within you telling you that it's time for a change, it's time for a new beginning. I know that anxiety, I can relate to it. It's when we are being called to ascent and to leave something behind that is, doesn't serve us anymore. This is how you should see yourself or respond to a situation or to a representation of you in this reading or the reason why you're going through this Ace of Pentacles. Okay. Meant to have a new beginning, a fresh new start, something more stable, more promising. If you do this, I think there, you know, Sagittarius, there's a lot of stability trying to come in for you here. Something very stable, very promising. A new beginning. You're meant to accept this new start. You're meant to go after this new beginning in your life. You have to trust. There's something better waiting for you. But you have to stop. And I think you are aware of this. It's this erratic energy. You have to break free from. I don't know, maybe for some of you, maybe it could be another individual that you have to break free from so that you can have this new beginning. It can be an individual or a situation, but it's very erratic. Take it as best resonates. I just saw that, you know, but it could be. It's still stressing you. You don't want to let go of it. That's for sure. You want to hold on tight to it. It gives you some type of security, sense of security. This is the energy that's surrounding you, influencing you, inspiring you, the moon, Pisces energy. Sagittarius, you're meant to, there's this higher calling that's trying to call to you. This is divine telling you, you know, trust, don't fear. You are the domesticated dog and there is a wild wolf next to the domesticated dog. You're meant to howl at this moon the way that the, the wild wolf has been doing it all its life. You're meant to let that inner wolf shine and answer to this calling. It's an awakening for you. Or it's just simply something that you have to embrace and answer to. Don't be afraid. Don't, 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 don't scare you. Don't be scared of what you can't see. I'll embrace the mystery. Okay, there's something new waiting for you, it's trying to come in and this is why there might be some fear and anxiety and stress because you don't know what's going to happen 
and it's perfectly normal. But you have to understand that there's something, there's something big waiting for you. It's very stable. Hopes and fears, strength, Leo energy. Do you feel that you need that strength, that courage? If you will be able to, to do something about this, maybe you need the courage or the strength to cut something out of your life, leave something behind, transform something, okay? You're asking yourself how or where can I find the strength? No, that's just your hopes and fears. I think you, all you have to do is just do something about it. Your mind is the only thing that can limit you. That's why she has that infinite symbol above the crown chakra. The possibilities are limitless. Only you can be, your, only your imagination is the only thing that can limit you. I say stop stressing, stop fearing, and just take action and start moving. And don't be afraid of starting small or fresh or from zero or from the bottom. Okay. Have faith, trust, trust yourself, trust the path. Okay. Outcome or advice is the king of cups. It's your emotions. Okay. This is someone who has finally mastered their emotions. You have to be strong with your emotions. Don't let your emotions get the best of you. Don't let anything manipulate you at an emotional level. If you are meant to move on, move forward, you have to do it. And don't let your emotions stop you. Okay? Don't let your emotions confuse you. You're, you're going to have to be very strong to continue your path, to keep moving. And maybe even to cut something out of your life. Maybe this is why you have the strength in your hopes and fears. Maybe you know you need strength to cut this erratic behavior or energy out of your life whether it's another person, individual, situation, or something within you that it's not letting you maybe even make a proper decision. Don't let your emotions get the best of you and don't ignore your emotions, okay? Don't let anything try to control you or manipulate you. Nine of Wands, you are meant to, you know, you, I think you are trapped in some type of cage. You're meant to step out of this place and uh, shine the way you're meant to. You know, you're meant to do something better, bigger, but you can't do it in this, in this place or environment where you're at right now, or even just the energy that you're in. Okay. Then we have the Six of Pentacles. Maybe stop investing your time and energy in this situation. Stop overgiving. Reserve more of your energy for yourself. Okay. And uh, yeah, because that's the only way it's going to make some type of equal give and take now. Things will be more balanced. Okay, Sag, let's get additional messages um, from this other deck. Just in case I'm missing something. And then we will close the reading with the Spirit of the Animals Oracle deck. This is just something little extra I always like to do, just in case I'm missing something. You never know. 
can always get an extra message that can bring more, more clarity to the reading. Okay, what other messages do you have for Sagittarius regarding this reading or situation, please? If there's something else I need to know, what would it be, please? Thank you. Anything else? Anything else for Sagittarius, please? Thank you. What else? Thank you. Yeah. That's it. Hmm. You got the Knight of Wands behind. You know, it is something that it, there is some type of a warning with this. It's it's it could be very manipulative, but it could be something that gets the best of you, and it stresses you. You're meant to move forward and leave it behind. Okay, right, right, okay. I got the Knight of Pentacles. Start moving forward, start moving. Don't stay stagnant. The Knight of Pentacles is always a stagnant energy, but in this deck, he's finally moving. And uh, stay focused. He's looking at that Ace of Pentacles. You know, you're meant to go and plant the seed and have a new beginning, something more stable. There will be victory and success, Six of Wands. Okay. Yes. Some people will not be happy to see you move on or carry on and have this new beginning, this success, this victory. But that's their problem. You're meant to move forward. Justice. The sword of truth. Only your truth will set you free and will bring some type of balance into your life. You have to be true and loyal to yourself and karma will be served. Just focus on yourself for now and move on. And then we have temperance, which is your major karma, Sagittarius energy. Ascending, you are ascending, you are growing. This is part of your path. Keep working on yourself, keep, uh, keep working on yourself, keep focused, okay? Keep doing your magic and purging. It's, it's, sometime, it's something about purging your energy. This is part of your path. You are meant to go through this to clear karma. Okay? You are ascending. You are becoming a better version of yourself. You are connecting more with the mind. This could be part of your awakening. Or the beginning of an awakening for some of you. Maybe this is why there's so much stress and anxiety. And it's part of the process. And this is why there's a lot of fear and mystery. And But it's okay. Just embrace it and understand that. This is also to make you stronger, emotionally stronger. Okay. Let's close your reading with the Spirit of the Animals Oracle deck. Remember that whatever message comes out of this deck, it doesn't have to be related or correlated with the reading in any way, shape, or form. Just taking the message as additional advice, which might help you at some point later down the road. Okay, Sag. Okay. What other messages do you have for Sagittarius? So let's swap up that place. Thank you. You got the moose, which means wisdom. And the moose card says, let your head and mind reach to the stars. Dream big, always dream big, don't settle for less. Yet keep your feet grounded on the earth, exactly. Keep it real, right? Listen to the ancient wisdom in your soul. The ancestors speak through you. You know much. Okay, Sag, I think that's uh, the best I can do for you. I hope 
that message helps you somehow but more than anything i do hope this reading helps you and it gives you the guidance and the answers that you are seeking at this moment of your life Sagittarius, if you do like this reading, do please hit the like button, leave a comment. I would truly appreciate it very much. And, uh, well, as usual, I hope to see you next time. And please do stay safe, be happy, and stay very blessed. Goodbye.